Hey guys, welcome back. It is the Movie Minute, our own little water cooler on our side of the internet. With me is the man, the host, the guy that's going to tell us uh, what I should be running out and seeing this weekend, what I should avoid, more importantly, mm -hmm. probably. Uh, Malengo at Rambling Mango. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Burning the uh, late night oil. You are. You are you're stuck at work again. A little bit of an echoey yeah. spot, but but you you've arrived. Hey, showing up is like what what eighty percent of the battle, right? That's true. You know, and even if you're showing up by not leaving. We're halfway there. Halfway there. No, I think our math's wrong there somewhere. So tell me, what what am I looking out for this weekend? What's big in the movies? All right. Well, yeah, we'll just run down the, uh, I guess, the, the the weekend that was. So the big movie that came out this weekend was uh, Captain Phillips with Tom Hanks. Uh, that was an interesting movie. I got to see that one a little early. But um, it did really well in the, in the theaters. Uh, by well, I mean... It, it came in number one, <laughs> but uh, that's a movie that I recommend that people go out and see. I think yeah. it, it definitely ends on, a, on an up note. Um, it was kind of interesting, though. I was checking through the ratings between uh, Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic, and I thought it was kind of interesting that the Rotten Tomatoes vibe was almost too, like, uh, like people were a little too excited about it. Which is why I don't. I never really go by the ratings. I usually like to take the average of you know the critics and the fans, and kind of that'll give me a general sense of what what people are really thinking. But I thought the uh, Metacritic score was a little bit more realistic. That one gave it a B, like a high B plus, and I I think I agree with that. Um, but I would definitely recommend that movie. The other one that uh, I, I think was a little disappointing in theaters. Actually, let me rewind. I just misread something. Kevin Phillips was not number one. It was number two. Gravity still sold a spot at number one, which is saying something. It is. It's a movie about two people in space. And, and I think there's a lot of buzz going on with it, too, because I know that's the show that I've seen uh, just like around, you know, the general, you know, the kind of podcast I listen to, the general technology ones and entertainment yeah. and technology kind of stuff. Um, and that's when I keep hearing pop up over and over and they're saying, see this at 3D and, and you'll see stuff like, you know, flying at your face because they did so much with this movie. It sounds like this is a really good example of something to see with that, that, that kind of technology. Yeah, I still have to go back and see it in 3D, and I really want to do that. Um, I think it'll definitely add a different experience that you won't get on like your home theater system, mm -hmm. even if you have it in 3D. Um, and I, I think like even uh, not even like bad uh, publicity, but even SNL did a really good spoof on it on uh, Saturday Night Live. Oh, I heard where, about this. You know, they had two characters, and they kind of made a play off of. Uh, Gravity and the government shutdown. Mm -hmm. If you haven't checked it out, it's on YouTube. Definitely go check it out. I think it might be on Hulu now, uh, but <laughs> it was pretty funny. So, I mean, even you know that publicity that still keeps it running, I think it's very good. Uh, Machete Kills, that was one that you were supposed to go see, Mike. Oh, I did not get the opportunity to, unfortunately. It was too crazy of a weekend. I had a tailgate party, had a media thing. Uh, so it just did not happen, unfortunately. But this is definitely one that if I get the chance... I got to get out to see. This is on the to-do list here. <laughs> yeah, well, you better hurry up with that one. Oh, is it that walk. bad? I this is. I, I don't think this is one that's going to be a blockbuster no matter what. I mean, I don't think this is something that everybody's going to go out and see. This is for a specific audience. These people will all buy the DVD. These will all buy the video on demand. Everything else that goes into something like this. Um, I, Machete Kills is fine. I mean, look what. See what the box office was for the first one. You know, I I, I think I think uh, Gravity's got more of people's minds for that and i'm actually yeah. surprised uh, uh the captain movie did so well uh, uh too yeah i mean um the captain movie i think tom hanks just by him alone he can bring in quite a bit of crowd everybody thought it was um, castaway too it did have that feel of castaway i mean you know you are in the water and i mean go see it if you have if you have the time and you just want to go see like uh a nice thriller. Um, I think that one's good. It's based off a of, of true events, but I mean, even putting that aside, I do think like I left. I surprisingly left the movie feeling like 
you know, a sense of like, oh, that's pretty cool. I think the overall situation, hmm. the overall situation sucks, but it has a very cool outcome. <laughs> and it's based on a true story and everything too, like pretty, pretty succinctly based on a true story, right? Yeah, yeah. Good. So, yeah, definitely go. I think the the one thing I will joke about with your machete kills is the kids' film, uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, too. There were more people that still went out to see that movie. Because they got kids. Because the kids. Where, you're not gonna, okay, a kid wants to go out and see the movie this weekend. What did they have the option for? Okay, there's usually one movie that you can that even consider. True. You're right. You're right on that part. I would say this is not a big week for movies. Mm-hmm. Or this, this, the last past weekend was not a big week for movies. So, but hey, you know, uh, we're moving on. That's why we love the movie season. You know, mm-hmm. there's always movies somewhere. So, yes, there always, is one. Like, oh, thanks for that. There's always somewhere that there's always some way to preoccupy your time. Yeah, uh, yeah. You yes, yes, and I, I usually stay home and just get on the Netflix. Hey, dude, I, I did finish Walking Dead season three. I started with the season four. Oh, oh man, don't, don't, don't worth it. it. Worth it. Man, I'm going to have to, I'm on the Amazon Prime, so I got to avoid, uh, and I have a busy Monday, so I have to avoid, like, Twitter for, like, a day and a half. I have I freaking I'm, Mikey I'm from the Freak a Show. I've job of winning it for today's Tuesday. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you, you're, you're in, like, spoiler hell if you're on Prime, and then you have, like, a busy front of the week. Oh, man. I, yeah. I, I got to say, like, I, maybe I'm just going to stay up Sunday night until they until they let it on Amazon Prime so I can go watch it or uh, or something. Something. It's nuts. Uh, what else you got here? Oh, that was it for uh, for the for the reviews and water cooler for uh, this weekend. Like I said, it was not a it wasn't a crazy weekend. Mm-hmm. So what about you? What, what let's go to a break? You know, let's let's see who. What we got? Well, we got a lot going on, of course, over at SorgatronMedia.com, uh, including we have a new newsletter actually coming out. If you're into movies, but if you're like Malengo and me, and we like making a little bit of movies, that sounds dirtier than it probably should have, actually. Um, but no, if you're a content creator, if you're into social media, if you're in all that kind of stuff, we actually do have a brand new news- newsletter over there. So if you go to SorgatronMedia.com, where this show and other fine shows live, when my when my images aren't broken at the top, up there uh if you go right over here to uh sorgatron media in your inbox if you want to see everything like the podcasts and shows and everything like this uh go to your, the announcements or releases and dvds that we're putting out documentaries that we're working on uh, a little bit of behind the scenes of if you want the real behind the scenes go and subscribe to the creators list again we just started that this weekend i, I talked a little bit about uh the 24 7 stream that we just started up here at sorgatron media uh to publish on justin tv and so many people are looking at that thing i'm really glad we did and i'm hoping it brings a lot of new eyeballs a lot of new fans to the show so they can talk to us about you know hey the movies like this the tech on awesome cast the wrestling with the wrestling mayhem show and a lot of the other stuff that we're, we're promoting through that stream throughout the week because you get an extra chance to stumble upon us you know to the to 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 window shop in the front door of our, our video stream. So so go check that out, and including uh, uh, new releases like the Friday Night Friday night Fights that we just came out from IWC and uh, releasing here in the next couple days will be RWA's Bloody Harvest, including a table ladders and chair match. Some really cool... We're really, we re- really do promote the violence on our network, apparently. So there's that. You're in the right place if you're digging on something uh, like Carrie that we're going to get into here in a moment. Yes, we are. Because, uh, yeah, let's get into Carrie. <laughs> so, this weekend, you know, Carrie's coming out. Did you know that? I, I, I caught wind of this, yes. Yeah. So, uh, I, I, it took a moment, because one of the co-workers of mine was uh, checking it out on Netflix. Yes, mm-hmm. the old Carrie is on Netflix right now. And uh, I was really amazed at the, the actual quality of how that movie was was filmed and the fact that on Netflix it looks extremely nice. Really? So, yeah. So, I definitely recommend people go check it out, especially before this Friday when the new one comes out. I think I'm, also it's pretty interesting. Netflix has been airing a lot of Halloween type movies. Um, so I definitely recommend that. But uh mm-hmm. This is the perfect time to binge. This is the perfect time to find that like series. Like I remember a friend of mine had like all the Halloween tapes. 
tapes, yeah. mind you. And he just like bring them over. He's like, let's let's. I've never watched through all the Halloweens. Let's do it, you know. Uh, and we got most of the way through them, and 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 you know, it'd be great. Do they have like Nightmare on Elm Street and and Friday the Thirteenth stuff like that? That's so that's the giant serials like that. They probably have more <laughs> Leprechaun movies, right? No, I mean I think they have a good mesh of everything. I mean they have the uh, the haunting that's on there right now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, like, so I would recommend people go through it. I, I'm definitely going to do that this, this week just to see what's on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so I decided to watch the old carry to see how, you know, how it might match up because the, the general feel based on the, the previews, uh, for the new carry is it's almost like an uplift. It's a, it's a kind of like, not want to say it's a new, it's definitely not a new story. It's a remake, obviously. But it's it's, kind it's of like, modernized. You know, they, and, you know, one, yeah, one of the things we modernized it. When you go to a lot of those old movies, and, and, and it's been a while since I've seen Carrie, but it always seemed like the motivations weren't really fleshed out. You know what I mean? Like when you For, get to something like that, like, 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 you know, Look at, like, say, the Halloween movies versus the new Rob Zombie Halloween movies. You have more of an idea why this dude is a killer, right? Then going back and it's like, well, just a guy that kills people. Eh, we think- yeah, but I, at the same time, I'll argue with you that the older movies definitely did a really good job of, like, giving that conveyance of, like, just creepiness. Like, the soundtracks, I thought, were more scary. Okay. But, you know, and that, it, that's, all, that's all leading into the era between... Uh, Alien and, and where it completely played on soundtrack, freaking yeah. you out, you know. And so I think those older movies definitely can hold up on their own. You know, the funny thing is, of course, you can always nitpick a movie, and I will say that Carrie definitely comes off as like <laughs> there's some interesting characters yeah? in that. How you mean? Um, I mean, just like uh, what they might portray as like. I don't, I don't know what the, the exact words I'm looking for, but just the way, like, I guess people carried themselves in the 1970s, uh, <laughs> that, that kind of like, that's like your hippie age, that was a right? Different... Or is that the age coming out of hippiness? Okay. Okay. So you have like, you're, you're very laid back, like, like people picking on, on Carrie in the 1970s. I don't, I don't think that's the kind of picking we got when we were in high school or, or middle school. <laughs> no, but I mean, this is, this is, where are you looking at Carrie as a, as a, as a representation of your high school years? I mean, I mean, I, hey, you know what? Let's take a look at Fast Times at Ridgemont High where we're, where we're at it, right? You know what was a really good, uh, uh, you know, take on my high school years? American Pie completely uh, uh, fits, fits, fits what my high school years were like. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, sure. I agree. We definitely shouldn't look I mean, for movies. As, there are some movies that do a good job of representing. All right, here's something. Here's yeah. something. Okay, well, that, that, that kind of age, like when we watch those kinds of movies and we were that age, um, would, did you watch something like American Pie, something like, uh, uh, I don't know, any of the John Hughes films, um, um, Ferris Bueller, and it, hell, Saved by the Bell, and say, man, I wish my high school was like that, you know? I'm, I'm not getting the high school experience here, right? <laughs> right? right? Is, were, you, were you kind of like, like kind of duped by that idea as I was, or is this just me? What school are they going to? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I want, my, I want to be in Bayside High. It sounds like, like they have this place they can hang out. There's no parents. That guy's a little weird doing magic in the corner. But other than that, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, the principal doesn't care. Yeah, oh, I'll accept like being screeched. Or not saved by the bell. Uh, Boy Meets World. Where it's like um, the that was the worst because Boy Meets you're... World. He was like in exactly the same grade I was when I was. Like yeah. through the entire thing, so it was a very one to one comparison, and I'm like, this isn't ha- what you know. So it warped everything about my my high school like identity right there. Um, yeah, so true. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I don't know. I think I think the new Carrie, like after watching the actual whole story of Carrie, I started to get a little worried because I'm like. This isn't really, you know, it's not, it's not really scary. I mean, it might have been scary when I was a kid, but you know, it's like it's not really scary. It's kind of just like I'm, I'm worried that the new one might be a little. I was trying to remember this movie the other day, and maybe you can help me. Um, the one with the the three kids that suddenly realize they have superpowers. Oh, uh, the newer one. 
Yeah, it came out like a couple days ago, or not days ago, a couple years ago. A couple ago. years ago, yeah. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. It was all like found footage. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, what I, I just watched that like more recently too, and I can't, I cannot think of the name of that now. Yeah, I can't think of it either. But the, do you remember how like that footage where they're like kind of learning their abilities? It's the exact same premise of the abilities that Carrie has. Though so they don't, I don't think Carrie goes to that extreme. Mm-hmm. And Carrie definitely holds like I think some religious underlining yeah. connotations. Well, but, I, like, I think I think because uh, watching the trailer that I did, it comes off as and, and of course I'm I'm reading a lot of X Men again, uh, mm-hmm. so this is the first thing I think about. Like it feels like a, a new mutant kind of developing powers thing, and like the mother is religious, and that's the undertones to it, but. You know, it's not yeah. necessarily, you know, um, and I can't remember the undertones of Carrie. And, and there's some comments from the Chachi's actually saying in the chat where he's like, he's, a, he's saying, you know, Carrie wasn't supposed to be scary. Yeah, I, I think it was just supposed to be like a finding herself and yeah. the consequences. It's suspenseful. Um, it's, it's, I don't, I don't know how, how you to describe it there. It's listed as a horror Though. Yeah, but horror is such a wide thing. I mean, just even like going to the scare house thing for this media thing the other night. We're talking about the the general haunts, which are like the the surprise you thrills, and then like they just got this new thing in the basement. It's called the basement, where it's yeah. more suspenseful and very sparse, and, and and it's more the feeling, you know. I mean, I, horror is such a wide brush to throw at a movie. You know, okay. just because they they label carry a movie doesn't mean it's a one to one comparison to Saw. You know, or yeah. or 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 Saul was Jason. more like gruesome or yeah, well, like, yeah. Oh, that's not really going to happen. Oh, yeah, they happen. <laughs> <laughs> that was because I remember, was, and it was an interesting phenomenon, wasn't it? Because all these years, like you saw so much in the horror films, but you never saw it go all the way. Sometimes to the point where Saw and the Hostels and and those kinds of torture porn movies showed you everything to the point it was uncomfortable. Yeah, you know, I, I, it was interesting that they just completely went the other way, and I really, and I'm hoping you know, movies like this, like where you know, something like Carrie and stuff, go back to the more. Why well, again? I you know, probably not a full on horror movie. I mean, the real crazy shit doesn't happen till the end, as the Carrie yeah, story goes. Even when I watched Help Me, I watched Carrie to the Rage, and it was the same timeline practically, right? I didn't, I didn't watch the Rage. <laughs> Which I'm surprised you even went that. Wow. I don't even know how wow. I stumbled on that. Like, I just, I think, I, again, I remember ending up with a VHS tape sometime. I, I think it was like <laughs> in a bargain bin or something. So, well, eh. here's some fun facts. All right. Just so we like encompass the awesomeness of this. <laughs> Carrie, the critics for the original 1976 one gave it a, a 92. They seemed to like it. And the, the, the audience gave it about a 72. So I'd say that's a pretty good. It's a pretty good comparison to what, you know, that movie held up. Also, fun fact, uh, John Travolta was in that movie. <laughs> he pops yeah. up in a lot of those 70 movies, though, that you like, yeah. had no He's idea. In all of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who should we use? John Travolta. Yeah, you know, John oh, yeah. Travolta. This kid. You might have something here. Yeah. Uh, but kind of, kind of a snazzy one, dancer, I, too. I will say that uh, Chloe Grace... Uh, Moretz, I, I think that's how you say her name, her last name. The girl from Kick Ass. Mm-hmm. I I do like where she's going in her acting. It'll be interesting to see, you know, what else she can, what other roles she could play. I, I mean, I definitely that Kick Ass thing is, you know, that's a specific character, uh, definitely. But it'll be interesting to see like what other things she starts to take on. Yeah, and so, she just started. Yeah, 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 we know her for Kick Ass, so she's going to be that Kick Ass girl for a while until she finds that next role, you know. Um, but yeah, good. I, I think it's a good start for her for sure. Yeah. So I mean, I'll be I'll be interested to see this movie. I think, and this starts off our our Halloween weekend basically. Awesome. So there we go. Uh, so what else? What else do I have? Tell me oh, about. Yeah. So okay, go ahead. What's up? I was gonna. I want to hear about Ant Man. About Ant-Man. Oh, yeah. So, apparently, the casting for Ant-Man. Uh, we have a competition between Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Paul Rudd. And initially... Right I think it's, that, I think it's like, pronounced Paul Rudd. When This is the Paul Rudd that Rudd? I know is from... 
This, this is the one that I know from the uh, the Apatow movies, right? Yeah. That's interesting. So, I mean, what, do, is there any uh, talk about what kind of the tone of this movie is? I, like, all I know is there's some tech, uh, some kind of some tech, um, 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 you know, tests out there that they made, they showed at one of the cons. Um, so, I mean, do we do we have any idea, like, kind of what direction they're going with this? I'm not sure what direction they're going with this, but the one thing that, like, I mean, I I've known him from his more you know, recent movies mm-hmm. of like the 40 year old version, um, like those kind of knocked up and then the sequel to knocked up, uh, the whatever I'm going 40 or whatever, mm-hmm. or, you know, so those kind of movies, like I definitely think the, the character that he plays in those kind of movies has, has always been kind of like a mellow, like just cool dude. And when you look at the, uh, the, the other extreme of Joseph Gordon Levitt, it's like complete opposite. <laughs> so I, I really have no idea. It could be a very laid back Ant Man, which mm-hmm. I don't know, or it could be this like crazy young, energetic, you know. <laughs> Ant-Man. Who knows? I have no idea where they're going. With it. And there's so much so. you can do with it, too, because the, the Ant-Man character, for those who aren't familiar, and God bless you if you've read a lot of Ant-Man. Uh, I know, like, from the Ultimate Universe Ant-Man that I've read, he is not a likable character. Like, like even the cartoon a little bit. Ant-Man's a dick. I mean, there's, a, there's parts, I think, in both continuities where he's beat his wife. You know, so it's yeah. not, it's not, so where do you go with that for a movie? You know, a just generally just not a likable character. So, um, but it, it's, it's still an interesting concept. Obviously, I don't think they're going to go that far with something like this. Um, and I got to know, is Wasp in it? Do we do that? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm reading the comments actually on people comparing the two actors. One person says that they think uh, Paul is it Paul Rudd? Is that how you say his last yeah, name? Yeah, Paul Rudd. Uh, one person is comparing him to the to the uh, Downey Jr. Um, character. I'm okay. guessing uh, Tony Stark. So I don't think that ever came across like that in the in the cartoons. But I would no, certainly not. And even like the Tony Stark stuff, I think was a little bit of a reinvention. Um, and, and giving a voice to this character that had been in you know pages for how many years, you know, yeah. I, and now to the point where I do watch Iron Man in the Avengers cartoons, he doesn't sound like Tony Stark that I know from the movies, and that bothers me, you know. Um, so I, 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 when you when you do a movie like this, and Marvel's been really good about kind of rebooting, reinventing their characters by putting an actor's face and voice behind it, you know, um, like really doesn't like you know. Uh, Chris Evans embody uh, Captain America now. You know, to, uh, uh, Robbie Downey Jr. embodies Tony Stark, and, and I think they're looking to do the same thing with Ant Man. So they're going to be very careful about that pick. I think. I was just saying that I think the the characters will be could lead to completely different things, and that uh, people comparing it to the to the Tony Stark character, um, I think, might not really be true. I don't believe that that's what I remembered from the cartoon yeah yeah but uh but, well, how about we wrap up movie news all right um so the quick two notes really quick uh the first one was chris pine um our lovable star track lead um was coming to horrible bosses which just makes me i mean i congratulate him for getting a lot more roles <laughs> this just seems odd there's a sequel to Horrible Bosses, really? I don't even I don't even know why we need a sequel. Why? We, because we determined not to kill the first Horrible Bosses. Why are we determined? Maybe well, you know what? This time it's different. We're actually going to do it. Yeah. This Sorry. Time spoiler it. alert. I, I don't see him as a comedic as a comedic person or role. So uh, that's just going to be. He could be. No, I, I think he could be. I think I've seen him in a couple things too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, it could be interesting. The other uh, quick movie news that I thought might be interesting uh, was the Charlie uh, Hunnam. Uh, he dropped out of Fifty Shades of Prayer. So for all you ladies out ladies. there who were 
we were so excited. Ladies that, and uh, Mad Mike, so sad. Yes. So he says that um, he's basically busy. <laughs> he says that uh, he, uh, I believe the the article mentioned something about um, just a lot of his television appearances were starting to rack up. Yeah. Um, so he just wouldn't be able to to do. It. I'm trying to think what else he's on other than Sons of, of Anarchy. Uh, but apparently that must be overwhelming. So yeah. I don't know if it's a cop-out, but I mean, that definitely opens the door to a lot of other characters that people wanted to play that role. So that'll be interesting. All right. Uh, but yeah, that's all I had for movie news. Let's, uh, let's wrap this thing up with movies that, that people should, you know, get their popcorn money ready for. <laughs> all right. What we got? So, movies coming out this weekend, obviously we have Carrie, which is one that I'm pretty excited to see. Um, <laughs> uh, this movie, this next movie, Escape, Escape Plan, with uh, Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Just a quick joke about this movie. I received movie, movie tickets for free. Um, if you follow me on uh, the good old Twitter, I can... Uh, I'll post those, those links whenever I receive these free movie tickets so other people could try and go to some free movies in Pittsburgh. But the joke of this movie was that I received, usually when you receive these tickets, I have maybe like five to ten minutes to respond before these are completely sold out. These tickets go fast for usually these free movies. I was 30 minutes late for this one. So I was assuming I'm not going to see this movie for free. So I realized that the previews or the screening was for tonight. So I'm kind of laughing, like, yeah, well, you know, maybe after the show I can go check it out. I, first of all, after about 30 minutes, the fact that I could still get tickets I thought was hilarious, meaning people were not interested. That's how, like, uninterested people were in this movie. And it's coming so out like, this weekend, too. This weekend. They couldn't give away free tickets for a movie coming out this weekend. Then I got another Twitter pimp about it about like two hours ago. So they still could not get rid of, they could not fill theaters for people to see this movie for, for, for free. I don't think anybody's interested in uh, Arnie and and uh, Stallone, Stallone anymore. I, I was say I've watched Expendables. Like Expendables 2 seems so hokey. Uh, yes. Next to something like Fast Five and, and whatever else is coming out these days, you know? Exactly. So definitely, if, if it, I don't know if it begs the question, is this too late? Or do people just don't care? I yeah. Mean, I think that's what it is. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know. If that's a sign of how this movie's going to do in the theaters, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's going to be interesting. Yep. Um, the Fifth Estate is also coming out this weekend. I don't know if that's releasing in all theaters, but that's the um, the WikiLeaks movie. Uh, that one, I mean, that's one that I'm interested in, but I don't think I'm gonna like rush. Yeah, that that's not a uh, that's not a blockbuster seeking kind of thing. Who is this that's playing uh, a song here? He looks familiar to me. Um, that is the guy that plays. Um, I. Uh, what is his name? Benedict uh, Cumberbatch. Oh, Cumberbatch. of course, because I because I just watched him in freaking Star Trek. Yes, he was in Star Trek. He's also Sherlock. If you have not seen him in Sherlock. I don't know why you have not gone. It's on him. Netflix. I think it's even on Hulu go, for free now, isn't go it? Don't see him as Sherlock. He is phenomenal, phenomenal character. Uh, but yeah. So that's one, you know, we're not really sure how that's going to do. Already, like, the pre-ratings for it on Run Tomato aren't that good. So, um, and then the, I think the last big Oscar big one is 12 Years a Slave. Um, this is just a, <laughs> this is one that my wife's going to make me see. Uh, but, um... I wish I could say this guy's name. Should should we tell? Uh, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna attempt his last name. He's a really good actor, though. 
Um, but there's some really big people in this. Uh, and I think even um, Brad Pitt, yeah, Brad Pitt's in this as well. But uh, this one's also based off a true story. And I don't know. I feel like this is going to be extremely depressing. With well, a well, I, I don't know too many happy movies about slavery. Yeah, but... I mean... <laughs> I mean, I, don't really, yeah. I mean, I guess they did do a comedy that one time, but you yeah. know, and there, I mean, what do you mean, Jenga wasn't? Uh, that was a. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. Oh my me. gosh! How could you not have watched that? It's actually that sitting. Was... I got. I hooked up with that hit bliss where you go, like I got the invite, and you go watch ads, and they give you money. And I haven't even gone through because I don't want to watch it on my computer. So, oh. I, I I can watch for free, and I just haven't got the the effort to do it. That movie was an amazing experience in theater, seeing all these white people around me and knowing how uncomfortable they must have felt. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned around and was like, yes, you. you <laughs> all of you. Ugh. But yeah, that's uh, that's our movie lineup for this weekend. So uh, I, I don't know. The one that I'm pretty interested to see uh, is definitely... Oh, I mean, I'm probably going to have to see 12 Years a Slave, but I think Carrie's the big one for this weekend for me. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going with. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Malango. Let me know what I need to get out to if I find the time to get to the theaters and what to avoid. Where to spend your popcorn money. They can find you. You're at? Uh, at Rambling Mango. There you go. Twitter. Tweeting all that's week. Up there. Movies, shows, etc. I'm still disagreeing with you with the Angry Birds. <laughs> but them everywhere! Everywhere. I'm at Sorgatron, and of course, like I said, you can find this show and all like all kinds of other stuff at SorgatronMedia.com. Uh, we also have the show uh, video-wise uh, up on YouTube.com slash SorgatronMedia uh, for now. Uh, and we hope to have a YouTube channel for this as well. I gotta hit that 10 show mark, and then we execute the YouTubes. Let's do it. That's when you know the podcast is gonna keep going when we hit 10 episodes that's the rule around here um and you can also subscribe to us audio version on itunes as well so please 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 do that thanks malango we'll see you guys next week Super